Good morning and a very warm welcome to our service of Holy Eucharist in this season of Lent. Whether you're worshipping with us online or following the worship sheet on paper. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. The Lord bless you. None of us are perfect. We all mess up through the week, whether we are conscious of it or unconscious of it. And particularly during this season of Lent, we, we need to come before God to recognise our faults and to say sorry to God. Almighty God to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ himself carried up our sins in his body to the tree, so that free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds we have been healed. Let us therefore confess our sins. Father, we confess to you our selfishness and lack of love. Fill us with your spirit. Lord, have mercy. We confess to you our fear and failure in sharing our faith. Fill us with your spirit. Lord, have mercy. We confess to you our stubbornness and lack of trust. Fill us with your spirit. Lord, have mercy. May the Lord enrich you with his grace and nourish you with his blessing. The Lord defend you in trouble and keep you from any evil. The Lord accept your prayers and absolve you from your offences for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Collect for the Second Sunday of Lent Almighty God, you show to those who are in error of the light of your truth, that they may return to the way of righteousness. Grant to all those who are admitted into the fellowship of Christ's religion, that they may reject those things that are contrary to their profession, and follow all such things as are agreeable to the same, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the letter to the Romans, chapter 4, verses 13 to 25. It was not through the law that Abraham and his offspring received the promise that he would be heir of the world, but through the righteousness that comes by faith. For if those who depend on the law are heirs, faith means nothing and the promise is worthless because the law brings wrath. And there is where there is no law, there is no transgression. Therefore, the promise comes by faith so that it may be by grace and may be guaranteed to all Abraham's offspring, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who have the faith of Abraham. He is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed, the God who gives life to the dead and calls into being things that were not. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations, just as it had been said to him, so shall your offspring be. Without weakening in his faith, he faced the fact that his body was as good as dead, since he was about a hundred years old, and that Sarah's womb was also dead. Yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God, 
being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised. This is why it was credited to him as righteousness. The words it was credited to him were written not for him alone, but also for us, to whom God will credit righteousness. For us who believe in him, who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead. He was delivered over to death for our sins and was raised to life for our justification. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Hear the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. He then began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed and after three days rise again. He spoke plainly about this and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But when Jesus turned and looked at his disciples, he rebuked Peter. Get behind me, Satan, he said. You do not have in mind the concerns of God, but merely human concerns. Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world? yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? If anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, 
the Son of Man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his Father's glory with the holy angels. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us declare our faith together. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. With confidence and trust, let us pray to the Father. For the one holy Catholic and apostolic church, Lord of compassion, in your mercy hear us. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth. Lord of compassion, in your mercy hear us. For peace in the world, that a spirit of respect and reconciliation may grow among nations and peoples. Lord of compassion, in your mercy hear us. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer that they may be relieved and protected. We pray for Klaus Kaiser, Anne Templey, Joyce Lane, Jean Bowley, Michael Gray, Vincent Nash, June Shilton, Sue and John Thorne, Stan Michalski. Lord of compassion, in your mercy hear us. For those whom we've injured or offended, Lord of compassion, in your mercy hear us. For grace to amend our lives and to further the reign of God, Lord of compassion, in your mercy hear us. In communion with all those who've walked in the way of holiness, Lord of compassion, in your mercy hear us. God our Father, in your love and goodness, you have taught us to come close to you in penitence, with prayer, fasting and generosity. Accept our Lenten discipline, and when we fall by our weakness, raise us up by your unfailing mercy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, in these dark and difficult days, we turn our hearts to you. In ages past, you have delivered our nation from disaster. Do it again, we pray. Give wisdom beyond human wisdom to our leaders. Give strength beyond human strength to the NHS and all our frontline workers. Give comfort beyond human comfort to the elderly and all who grieve. Lord Jesus Christ, in these dark and difficult days, turn your face towards us, have mercy upon us, and heal our land, we pray. Amen. We remember before God those who have died, and we pray that God's love will surround all who mourn them now and always. We give thanks for all those whom we have loved but who have gone ahead of us. We pray for the repose of the soul of Margaret Chambers and George Carpenter. And from St Mary's Book of Remembrance, Merle Enid Taylor. From St Paul's Book of Remembrance, Frank Roger Cora, Alan Booth, Dennis Belton, Joseph McAuchie, Howard James Carter, Madeline Rosemary Edith Tebbett. 
Rest eternal grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace and rise in glory. So we stand for the peace. Once we were far off, but now in union with Christ Jesus, we have been brought near through the shedding of Christ's blood. For he is our peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. And so we come now to our Eucharistic prayer. As gift, O Christ, I have received you. And as gift, I offer you to the world. Jesus, the true vine and the bread of life ever giving yourself that the world might live. Let us share your death and passion and make us perfect in your love. Amen. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. For in these 40 days, you lead us into the desert of repentance, that through a pilgrimage of prayer and discipline, we may grow in grace and learn to be your people once again. Through fasting, prayer and acts of service, you bring us back to your generous heart. Through study of your holy word, you open our eyes to your presence in the world and free our hands to welcome others into the radiant splendor of your love. As we prepare to celebrate the Easter feast with joyful hearts and minds, we bless you for your mercy and join with all the saints and angels forever praising you and singing. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord, and as we obey his command, Send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may become unto us the most precious body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, he gave it to them and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. And Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms and bring us with Mary, the mother of God, 
Blessed Peter, blessed Paul, blessed Francis and all the saints and holy apostles to feast at your table in heaven, through Christ and with Christ and in Christ. And the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. And so we pray for the coming of the kingdom in the words our Lord and Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in the one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. So for those of you at home, we come now to our act of spiritual communion as we say together, My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in this most holy sacrament in body and blood. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never let me be separated from you, the Lord our God. Amen. And so we give thanks to God, who has fed us in this holy sacrament. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Pray bow your heads to receive God's blessing. Christ give you the grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourselves, to keep a holy Lent and to take up your cross and follow him who is the way, the truth and the life and the blessing of God the Father. The, Son, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon each one of you now and always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray for the souls of all those whom we have loved, but who have gone ahead of us into the arms of Christ in heaven. Rest eternal, grant them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen.